Welcome to To The House. It is Nick and it is Connor. No okay. Jack. The king is not here. The king of the house is not here, which means... Two bottom feeders battling it out today. Two people now tied for second, by the way. Yeah. Tied for second after the shenanigans of last week. Um, Where are the records? There they are. Jack is 60-31-1. Connor and I are both 52-39-1. So whichever one of us finishes better this week is a little closer to Jack, but probably still won't catch him. It's going to be um, difficult. I did almost just sent that water flying. Anyway, Nick and Connor here. We're very excited to be here in video form after last week. Uh, some technical difficulties. Connor wasn't even here last week. Now Jack's not here. Maybe next week everything will be uh, perfect in the universe again. But until then, we'll fight through this week. Um, I got the last six games wrong last week, but I got screwed out of the Lions game. That that was. A and I swear to God, I picked cool. the Vikings, and then I looked at this. It. I looked at this sheet and I saw that I picked the Eagles and I was pissed because I thought the Vikings were going to win the whole time. I must have gone in the moment and picked the team that I truly in my heart didn't think was going to win. So a bad week last week. I have a chance to come back. The game that I thought personally, I was it was a flip of coins since I wasn't here last week, was definitely between the Falcons and the Cardinals. Something just inside of me said pick the Cardinals, but no, I went with the Falcons. And it ultimately cost me. In retrospect, this is hard to look at some of these things. I had the first losing record of the year with a 6-8 and eight last week. Wow. Brutal stuff. Brutal Tough. stuff. But Jack O'Brien with a comfortable eight-game lead. So we're going to try to uh, crawl our way back into this thing really quickly. Slowly, but surely. Chop away at the leader. Yeah, just keep going. That's enough BSing from us. Let's get into the games. Absolutely. We're going to start with the Chiefs and the Broncos. Jack O'Brien, the king of to the house, picked the Chiefs. Wow. Very tough one. I took the Broncos last week, and it rained true. But this week, the Chiefs. I completely, I completely agree. I know our Thursday night uh, resume hasn't been that good. Not at all. <laughs> and I think the Chiefs, though, have to go into mile high and get it back on the winning track this Definitely. week. And Dallas I think we're going to see the true heart of this team come this week because they need a win right now, I think. Big time. That brings us to the Bills and the Dolphins, and I think it's probably going to be the Bills. I'm thinking so as well. <laughs> um, uh, just a lackluster Dolphins team this year. Oh, that's Nothing generous. Impressive, and you know, the Bills are at home. Very, very Bills. generous to say whatever that, you said. Yeah, yeah I don't even remember already. The least. At lackluster. The least. I just realized I put a bunch of Jack's picks in the wrong game, so we're going to have to go back and do that later. Um, Jack picked the Bills, believe it or not. Uh, Jaguars and Bengals. Jack picked the Jaguars, and I think I'm going to agree with him. I'm going to agree as well. I, I rode with the Bengals and stuff like You did. The first couple you keep of weeks giving them the benefit of the after doubt. After that week one matchup against the Seahawks, I thought maybe there'd be more to come out of that, and nope, ultimately fell apart. So this week we're going to find go with the Jets. Find someone that trusts you as much as Connor trusts the Bengals or the Steelers prior or to their Steelers. win, and then he immediately jumped off. Yes. That brings us to an interesting game between the Vikings and the Lions. Very interesting matchup. I think this that might. Division. It's not my game of the week. I know what it is already, but. It's a close second. At the moment, it is potentially my game of the week. We'll get to that later. But I'm going to go with the Vikings in this one. I am going to go with you and say the Vikings. So me and you picking opposite of Jack, who took the Lions. So we'll see if we can make some ground up on him. Hopefully. With this game. And we hope we do, because we know you don't want to see Jack win. He's not going to watch us. Not you guys don't like Jack, do you? We like him, kind of. But Yeah, it's just a... a do you see how a, cocky he's getting? Partner, do you see how cocky, cocky he's getting? Yeah. Yeah, Just we don't like that. Uncalled for now. Uncalled for. This is our house. So, Raiders and Packers. I'm all with the Packers in this one. I'm going to go with the Packers as well, as I just mentioned on the podcast. Uh, Packers at home. <laughs> Listen to the Stranded Sports Podcast. Listen to the Stranded Sports Podcast, and that's all I will say about that. that Packers at home. That brings us to the Rams and the Falcons, two teams that really, I guess, the Falcons need this a lot more than the Rams do, but the Rams need it just as bad in a sense that they've dropped three in a row. Definitely, and they do not know at the moment. This is Wednesday before. Wednesday, keep that in mind. Wednesday. They Wednesday do not night. know whether Jalen Ramsey is going to be starting or not. That's a good point. But I just read that, and I totally would have forgotten to mention it, though. Exactly. They don't know so if he's playing. Piece. Could be a key piece. I don't think it's don't that yet. big of a deal. I don't I'm, think so as well. So I'm going to go with the Rams in this one. That um, is just unanimous. Rams just the Falcons, 
not too impressive at all. I agree. So that brings us to the Texans and the Colts in a very intriguing game that well, well you'll you'll figure it out later. Would have been a very intriguing game if Andrew Luck was still here. I say this week after week. You do. Every every Colts game so like it would be much better if Andrew, Andrew Luck was left. playing, but, but unfortunately, okay. he's not. I'm wearing a Texans jersey and I think this may be one of the first times I may be going with the team's this week that I'm wearing a jersey for. So I'm going to go with the Texans in this one. That is the Texans for Connor. Jack said the Colts, and I like the Colts because they are at home, and they did hold the Chiefs offense to a low amount of points. And that was a way. And Arrowhead. it was a way. So hopefully it'll be an interesting matchup to say the least. They're coming off of a bye, so I'm going to go with the Colts. No, I'm not. I'm going to go with the Texans. Never mind. Never mind. I changed my mind. Switched. I, I, the minute I started typing, I said, you know what? That's not what I'm feeling in my heart. Last week, I didn't feel a couple games in my heart, and I picked them anyway. So we're going to just go with the heart this just time. Just go with the heart. 49ers, Redskins, 49ers win. That's my lock of the week. Definitely the Niners. I think it's going to be a lock as well. A um, couple of easy matchups for the 49ers coming up in their schedule, but I think this is one of them. So then that brings us to the Cardinals and the Giants. Wow. Jack had the Giants. Jack had the 49ers, by the way. Again, yeah. like I said last week, it was like a flip of a coin between the Falcons and the Cardinals. Um, this week, the Cardinals will have to go into MetLife Stadium Absolutely. in New York. And I'm going to go with the Giants. That's just what I was going to say. I think that that being a home game for the Giants changes my thought on who would win completely. Yep. That brings us to an interesting – I keep saying interesting game, but – there's a lot this, this is a weird game between the Chargers and Titans. I'm all on the Chargers solely because I don't think Ryan Tannehill is going to do much of anything. Very weird week. I, I think that that could influence my pick in this game. In all honesty, I've been... Oh, it I, influenced mine. Absolutely. Uh, the Titans showing that they don't really have faith in Marcus Mariota at the moment despite one screw up. Uh, I don't agree with it that much. I think Ryan Tannehill doesn't do well in this game. I'm going to go with the Chargers. Another bounce back for them. Saints and Bears. Whew. This one's interesting. Uh, I keep this saying one, interesting. I'm so sorry. This one this intrigues one me. Is very intriguing. I was a head scratcher at first. And uh, last week, I kind of thought if there was any week for Teddy Bridgewater to lose, it was going to be last week against the uh, Jaguars. This week, he has to go into Chicago against the defense on a Sunday at four. I'm not sure how I feel about this one, but I'm going to go with the Saints. Here's my thing. Mitch Trubisky, is he playing or what? He was full practice today. Keep in mind this is Wednesday. But if he doesn't play, that really sways my opinion yeah. because I think that Bears defense can hold down the Saints enough to the point where they could still win if they had Trubisky. But I don't know if, uh, you know, having a backup quarterback in there, if that's going to be the case. I believe he did well the last time. Yeah, I'm going to go with the Saints. It was I'm going to go with the Saints. I think their weapons are going to be able to find some success against that Bears defense. Um, Ravens, Seahawks. I'm going with the Seahawks, man. Another pretty good matchup here. A very not very. interesting not intriguing a very lucrative matchup in the battle of the birds as jack called it. bird battle all caps as jack bird wrote battle he took the seahawks jack took the saints last game as well seahawks as well at home that's the only reason that I no i think that's a game. extremely hard place but to play exactly you have a team that had a gritty win against the uh, browns last week and the seahawks you have the ravens who have seemed to taper off yeah, I really think they've bit. tapered Ever off a bit. Ever that, that loss to the Browns, and even that Steelers game, if you remember, it was, you know, forcing that game in overtime really didn't impress me too, too much. And they beat the Bengals last week, Bengals, but it's the Bengals. But, yeah. And I think the Seahawks, with their wave of momentum and the MVP of the league as of right now. Arguably. Arguably. Definitely. Him or McCaffrey, Russell Wilson. Um I think they don't – I think the Seahawks don't lose that game. I really don't. Even with – the Seahawks won this Is game. Peters playing? That's a good question. I don't I, know. I, I know about Ramsey because they did say that even, today. Even if that's the case, I but still think the Seahawks find at success the moment, in this game. I just think the Seahawks still One hundred percent. Eagles and Cowboys, I'm gonna take the Eagles. Wow. 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 Sunday night, eight o'clock. I'm gonna go with the Cowboys. Cowboys. I think it's a bounce back. 
They need some. They redemption. are at home. They need some redemption after last week against the Jets. Uh, just not a great game overall. But I think this game really defines the rest of the division for the rest of the season. That's a good point. Very good point. That's a first place game. Yeah. Three and three. Three and three. Second each. place is going to have a losing record. Which is crazy. The N- NFC East is just unbelievable. That brings us to the Patriots and the Jets. Well, last week after the Jets played a great game against the uh, Cowboys, I'm going with the Patriots. Oh, oh. Cool. You see what he did there? I did. That's the Monday night game, too. Undoubtedly. Patriots. I can spell, I swear. Patriots. So that's it. That's all the games. That brings us to the fun stuff, a.k.a. Game of the Week. Game of the Week. Mine, as I said at the beginning of the show, was the Vikings and the Lions, and I just, I don't know. In all honesty, I'm going to go with the Cowboys and the Eagles. Sunday night, I think it really defines the division. I think that's my, my number one pick. My second pick would be the Seahawks and the Ravens, and then my third pick that, would be Vikings. That was Jack's game. Seahawks and Ravens. It's going to be an interesting Bird battle. What was your first one? I'm sorry. My first one was Eagles and the Cowboys. I think it is as well just because the implications going on with that game. Yep. Um, I'm going to go with the Colts and the Texans. Another great that's game. going to be a great game to, as of right now, playoff caliber teams, I think. And it'll be interesting to see who comes up big in that one. Uh, two still pretty young quarterbacks on a pretty big stage right now with their teams in really good spots. I think it's going to be interesting to see what happens Definitely. there. So, Connor, you know what comes next. Fantasy, player of the week. Fantasy. Jack said Jimmy Garoppolo versus the Redskins, which in my opinion is a huge cop-out answer. Oh, absolutely. But once you hear mine, you're going to go, okay, Nick, you have no room to scrutinize anybody else's pick. But I'm the host, okay? I'm allowed to do that. Oh, totally. Did you come up with I, yours yet? Yes, I did. Okay. I Connor think was be. scrambling. When we even restarted courting and getting everything set last up. Week, last week, Nick Hedrick said I didn't have a pick, and I did. It was DeAndre Hopkins, but we can just ignore that anyway. Oh, did I not? Did yeah, you actually a have a, top, oh, a pick? Oh, well, a I'm sorry pick. that everyone might think less of your work ethic because but of But it's definitely not that. Uh, I figured he would have a breakout week. Not the case. I think in the Vikings game, in the Lions, Vikings-Lions game, excuse me, Adam Thielen is your player to watch. Ooh, I like that. I like that a lot. I'm going to take another cop-out answer and go with Josh Allen against the Dolphins Ooh. because it's the Josh Dolphins. Allen. Against? It's the, the Dolphins. The Dolphins. What more do you want from me, kids? This has been To The House, episode 7? Seven? 7. 7. Whatever week we're on in the NFL. I'm Nick. That's Connor. This is our house in the middle of the street. We'll see you next week. Or you can listen to Stranded, our podcast, with other people on it. And hear a lot more sports talk. If that's the case, you'll hear us very soon. If not, you'll see our faces next week. Take care of yourselves.